What is up everyone, it is Andrew Pierre here at Beta AT Production and Publishing bringing you guys a new YouTube video. In this YouTube video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can uh, send your beats or projects over to an engineer so that he can mix and master them better than you do. Um, I'm probably going to get a couple questions of should I even recommend this and um, what's the benefits and such and so to start off before I play the beat, and before I show you how you should um, send the files over, um, I will say there's a benefit of paying an engineer to mix and master your beat in the fact that if you don't know how to mix and master in general or whatnot, getting a solid finished final version of that beat from a professional that did engineer it will kind of um, show you how you could go about doing it so then you could reverse engineer with your project files and try to get to that point that the engineer had so if I sent it over to uh, some dude to engineer it he sends me back a finished like wave or mp3 file of the beat so then I could just toss it into the um, track in my project then i can like kind of compare and contrast what did he do to that to make it so good and then like and then you just practice through that so there's that way and then if you have all the money in the world or not all the money in the world per se but like if you have money to just afford to pay him to uh mix and master all your stuff then you're always going to have a nice sounding beat um, I really recommend people just to pay a mixing and master for um, vocal, like a finished track track. But, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say don't do it for beats as well. It's beneficial nonetheless. Alright, uh, with all that said, I'm going to just play this beat that I got. Um, I'm just going to play... Um, just this little part. So you guys get to hear it. So, I mean, that's pretty much the beat. Um, it's kind of clipping right now because I'm recording the screen and such. So, it's a pretty fair mix, I'd say. It's definitely probably not my best. It's not my worst. Um, but if I were to send this over to, you know, a um, engineer, I'm going to have to make sure everything is in the channel rack. So, if we're going to look... Um, Everything is actually in the channel rack. Uh, there's a couple things that like I ended up just not using for uh, the project, but you can see everything else is in the channel rack. This is important because in FL Studio, when we track out our beat um, as a wave, there's going to be an option that exports and splits each mixer track. So it's kind of important. Um, and if you don't have it in the mixer track, it will not export it. So then we got this chords. And what I would say is to send, since you're sending it over to a mixing and mastering engineer, do not get rid of any elements that are adding like a sonic 
like a um, aesthetic component. So what I'm saying is don't get rid of growth speed and probably don't get rid of any filters. But what you should get rid of is like an EQ, like that one, this one, get rid of, I don't know what the point of that one was. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. The reverb, I'm kind of hit and miss on. Sometimes some people have horrible reverb and you can't really process it and whatnot. I think, I think the best idea with the reverb is to go ahead and get rid of it. Get rid of that. Um, yeah. And then uh, get rid of this. Get rid of this. And so here we got a filter, so I'm not going to get rid of that. But I'm going to get rid of that EQ right there. Get rid of this EQ. And honestly, it would be a good idea to also send the engineer like your version. And maybe even give him a reference thing like, hey, can you kind of engineer it to, so it sounds somewhat like this? Because he can engineer it 20 different ways. If your expectation is like something heavy distorted and just over the top, and his idea is to do something very clean cut, high quality, um, no like low fidelity or anything of that sort, then obviously you're going to want to uh, let him know because otherwise he's going to go do it his way. So gross speed. I mean, uh, keep that gross speed. Get rid of the fruit, uh, reverb. Get rid of all this. And so you can kind of see, like, I'm just literally getting rid of all this EQ. A lot of EQs. And then with the master, if you have anything in your master, get rid of it, unless if it's like a filter. So I get rid of all this. And then honestly, I know there was more stuff. Then you do a uh, file and export. Once you make sure everything is in your mixer track list and you pretty much turned off all the compression, turn off all the EQ and you got Honestly, I'd also say reset all of your, um, oh, why, why am I, faders. This is being a fader. And, but arguably doesn't matter a whole lot um, because then he can just readjust it himself. But just for the sake of doing it, you're probably better off to completely isolate your filter, uh, your um, faders, which all you need to do is right click and do reset. But since I already have this finished beat, I'm not really going to do that. Now I'm going to do an export wave. I'm going to pick the folder that I want to do. So hold on one second. It's taking forever to load right now. So, let me use this new folder. This beat's called 12 Sco. Uh, remember to put the BPM in there. Also, if you know what key your beat is in, it's also important to put that information in there as well. Um, I don't know off the top of my head what key this beat is in, but I know it's a 152 BPM beat. So, and then raw, control A, control C, to copy that information, control V, also put your producer tag, save, and then sometimes for you guys with FL Studio, everything's going to be like this, so like, or whatever, make sure you're on your wave, you can do 16-bit, 24-bit, I don't really, you don't need to do uh, 32, it doesn't really matter, um, then you do split mixer tracks. 
you'll see how much more space it's going to use because it's going to create a whole lot more um, it's going to essentially create a whole bunch many more um, audio files so then and I just have some other high high quality for all the plugins there's some other little settings I got I do the highest resampling because it, it's just the highest and do start I'm going to go ahead and pull up the folder. It's almost done. Once it's done, there you go. It's all done. So now, if we look, we have all the files. So I'm going to go grab all that, right click it, and then you're going to want to get a zip file um, program. WinRAR is the most common one. So add archive, zip, I like to do best, and do OK. So it's gonna pretty much compress all these files into one file, which is a zip file. And this zip file is important because then you could just package it. It's just everything's in one file. Then you could send it off in an email. And I'm gonna show you probably, I'm gonna show you guys the best way to email it. So yeah, that's 118 megabytes. Whereas all of them, I wonder how much it is, 256. So it even saves space. So then I could go ahead and delete that. So it's all right in there to prove. Oh, WinRAR. There's all the files. So the website that I would then suggest you guys to use is WeTransfer. But Hold up one second. Got no internet. Turn on your internet because that's always important. And with WeTransfer, you can literally email to someone, put in your email, that's my email, add your files up to two gigabytes. So we're gonna go ahead. Projects. So here's our folder, YouTube. Here's that zip file. Then it's gonna upload and then you could send it and it'll transfer it. And it'll also even let you know when they download it. So you make sure that they got it. And that's really it. It's super easy. Um, and then, yeah, you have uh, the engineer do it, then he'll send it back to you. And then, yeah. So that's essentially probably the best way to send over your files to a mixing and mastering engineer um, to get to, for them to do their job. So yeah, this is Andrew Peer here with AT Production and Publishing. If you guys want to learn more on music production, get tools, and much more, go to BeatAT.com. Also, be sure to subscribe because we put out a lot of content for you guys so you guys become better producers, artists, and such more. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.